Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make another beaded flower ring. Now, I actually have several flower ring tutorials, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a link down there in the description bar of my ring playlist so you can see all the rings that I've made over the years. And believe it or not, I've almost been on YouTube for 10 years now, so I have like over 50 ring tutorials, and several of them are flowers, and I've made flowers so many different ways. And the thing with this flower ring, how it's different from the other ones that I have made. Looking back at the other ones that I've made, I usually have um, five or six petal beads going around, six at the most, and layers, this ring here has three layers, but I have done some flowers that have two petal layers, up to four petal layers. Now, usually going around, I've only done five or six petal beads. That's the most that I've been able to do. Well, this time I figured out how to do 10 petals, so I'm really excited, and this ring is so pretty. It's a very gorgeous blossom, as you can see here, and I'm making this ring using materials from the Check Beads exclusive monthly subscription box, but if you didn't get the subscription box, that's okay, because I will post links to the beads you will need to make this ring down there in the description bar, so you can just go and buy the beads outright and pick what colors you want in your ring. So I will have links for this ring down there in the description bar. So here is a close-up of the ring. It is so pretty. I love it. And here is the side. And by the way, I came up with a brand new ring band design. It's really cool. It looks like a vine, but it looks like a ladder. It's like a, a ladder vine. See how I did it? It's really neat, and with this ring band, we're only, um, when we go to make it, we're going in the same direction one time, and then we go over here and we close it off. There's no going back and reinforcing it at all. There's no adding extra beads. We're just going in one direction and making the ring band, so it works up really nicely, and it is a wide ring band. It's really pretty, and I'm sure that if you were to use smaller seed beads, you can do uh, like 15 or seed beads. The ring band, of course, would be smarter, smaller because it's kind of wide. So anyways, I'm really happy with it. It is so cool. This is what the back looks like, and it's just a really neat ring. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go over the list of materials, and like I said, I will have all the beads you will need to make this ring down there in the description bar below the video. Here's the list of materials you will need to make a ring. You will need 40 inches of 10 pound monofilament. You can also use 8 pound if you don't have 10. And you will also need 5 6 millimeter check disc beads. And you will need 10 check petal beads. And 5 8 millimeter check disc beads. Now these here are smooth, they're flat, but these have a ripple to them. But I really think that doesn't matter. I think either or will work for this project. Even if these here are the smooth, flat ones and you can't find the ones with a ripple on them, they should still work because they are the same size and shape. It's just that the you know the, the top and bottom's different, but it should not affect it. And you're also going to need 11 of seed beads. I'm using three different colors, so I have my flower center, and I have green and brown, but really you don't have to do that. You can use any color you want for the ring band. Let's go ahead and make the ring. It's going to be really fun, and like I said, I will have links to all the materials that I'm using, well, the main materials, the most important pieces, down there in the description bar in case you want to make the same ring in different colors. So that you can see me weaving with the monofilament, I colored the monofilament with nail polish. Now normally I put it on the very end of the monofilament, but when I do that I realize that the nail polish, because <coughs> it is paint, it makes the monofilament thicker and it also, the beads don't want to slide on it very well, so I had an idea to put the paint down here, so I have, what is this, like three-fourths of an inch that I could pick my beads up with, because uh, the beads don't like to slide on the nail polish as, as much. Now, I usually do Sharpie markers on the end, but they wear off, and then you guys told me to try nail polish, and it does work the best. It doesn't come off like the Sharpie, but um, the beads sometimes don't want to slide on it if the holes are tight. So we're going to start by making the center of our flower, and I have five petals, the yellow ones here, in the middle, so that means I have to do five seed beads, and this here is my favorite color seed bead of all time, the bronze. So I'm going to pick up five, and then I'm going to crisscross through the fifth bead, like this, and I'm going to put the ends down together. 
clear even and bring this center bead all the way down to the center so I have a little circle like that okay and then take one of the strings doesn't matter which mine's black and we're going to work with uh, the yellow and red beads so I have to pick up a seed bead because I have to make the center of my flower bigger in order for this to work and then a yellow disc okay slide that down and then a petal and I have to make sure that I've I pick the petals up in all the same direction because um, here I'll show you they are not the same on all sides one side is curved see that that's what the bead looks like it's a really cool bead I like it so I'm gonna have it curved like this and I'm gonna go through this side okay and then I have to pick up another yellow disc I'm doing it with a black and then another bronze seed bead and then I take my other end <clears throat> and I crisscross through the beads okay like this I'm gonna take the string here on the inside and go through the next bead so this one's black like that then I have to take the outside string I'm coming out of a yellow bead so that means I have to pick up a petal so I have to flip it over in this direction I always lay it down so I could tell which direction I have to pass through the bead okay and then I'm going to pick up a disc and I'm going to crisscross well I have to pick up a seed bead and then I'm going to crisscross through both of these with my other string like that bring it down and now I have this make sure you pull it tight sometimes you have to go like this with your nails and pull it tight so you'll see that it's like loose on the last one that you did over there okay and then I'm going to take my string and I'm going to pass through the next seed bead pull it through like this again take the outside string which mine is black and then a petal bead make sure it's laying up so this is the top of my flower go for the petal and then pick up a disc and then a seed bead take the other string and crisscross through these two should have slid down further I went through the nail polish area and I didn't want to go through as well as a uh, good because of that okay so pulling this tight again tighten this all up this is what it looks like I have to take this string and go through the next seed bead that one there don't twist on me Okay, through there, and then lay it down again. Always make sure that the top is facing up, especially when I do the top, so that I pick the petal beads up right. Okay, picking up my next petal bead, so it's facing up. Picking up my last disc, and then a seed bead. It's my last seed bead for the top of the ring. And I don't know if my camera tripod is falling or not. I'm having problems with it. It's broken right now. And I've been rigging it. And it kind of looks like it's low. So I'm going to bring all of this down. Okay. I just went through that bead there. And right now it looks so funny. You guys are like, how, how is this going to be a ring, right? It looks so weird. It's flat. It's like all splayed out. I'm going to take this string and I have to go through two seed beads. I have to go through this one and this one here and through the disc bead. Okay, so by the way, the color of this string is red. And I'm going to pass through this seed bead, through the next one, 
and if I can through the disc if it will let me will it let me come on come on it's not so I'll just go like this and then go through the disc both of these rings for some reason I guess it's the color reminds me of Super Mario the bright opaque colors and these pe petal beads come in so many different colors I have a lot of them in my bead sash and I have them in a bunch of colors there's this one that's like um, a rosy pink that I love and I have like a pale uh, blue that's transparent Okay, I'm going through another petal bead. Again, I have my petals all curled up so on the top. And then I have to pick up a new one, and I'm crisscrossing through it. And again, I laid it down to make sure it's going in the right direction. Okay, and now we have this. So mine right now is actually wanting to go inside out. So I'm just going to go like this and pop it up so it doesn't do that. Okay? So now it looks like this. Now I'm going to add the back and I'm going to see if one of my strings is longer because whenever you're weaving with two strings you always want to use the longer one if you have to only use one for a certain area so that you don't run out on each side. Now what I'm going to do is put the back on to my flower. Okay, See the green disc beads? What they are actually going to do is shape my flower better. So when you're wearing the ring and you look down from the top, you can't really see those. But this is basically the base that is forming the flower on the top. But when you look at it from the side, it actually looks like it's the bottom of the flower. The part of the bloom where, you know, the, your flower, when it's a bud and it opens, how it has green over it. So I like how that worked out. That's pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to pick up a disc bead. My strings are the same length, so it doesn't matter which. And I'm right-handed, so I always pick up my beads from my right side. So I'm picking up a disc, and I think I did four, right? Oh no, I changed it up. Let's see. I only made one of these, so... Yeah, four seed beads. That's the distance between two disc beads. And the color I did for the bottom was brown. Picking up four, slide those down, and then pick up a disc. And we're going to crisscross through the disc. And it's going to make that petal stand up instantly. Do you see that? It's the only one that's standing up. Okay. And then you have to take the string here that's on the top, pointing at the top, and go through the next red bead the next petal okay and then we're back at the bottom and then oops I pushed it backwards and the top falls I would turn my board sideways so it didn't do that but I don't have enough space on my desk okay so on this side where I have the brown beads I have to pick up more brown and again I'm gonna do four that's my number slide those down pick up a disc I'll slide this down and then crisscross through the disc bead. And again, so you see how we pull that bead down and the petal instantly stands up. I'm going to go through the next petal right there. Okay, on the bottom. Pick up four brown again. Slide those down and then another disc. I love this green. It's so pretty. It's pale green, which I don't usually see in glass beads like this. Crisscrossing through there, bringing it down. This is what it looks like so far. So right now you can see the green from the top, but we will um, change that because I want 10 petal beads. Coming out of the green disc, I'm going to go through my next petal. 
flip it upside down pick up four round seed beads crisscross to this disc here put the ends together like this bring it down, pull it tight that's what we have so far take the string pass through the pedal then go up through the disc so we just did our last green bead actually didn't I do this area different yes I did okay so right now I have all five of my green disc beads I have a string exiting out of the petal bead and then I have a string exiting out of this green disc so I'm gonna take the one coming out of the disc and I'm gonna pick up five seed beads not five four good grief okay there's four I'm gonna go down through this petal or yeah it is kind of a petal it's the base of the flower it's a disc okay like this I have to take and go through this petal bead so currently both of my strings will be exiting through this one petal bead I'm going to pull both strings tight that's what my back looks like and here's the top and I have these big gaps which are the same distance as these petal beads so I'm going to fill them in here now I want to make sure that my strings are even as I go okay this one's like an inch longer which is the black one so I'm gonna to go to my black string and I'm going to pick up a petal bead and by the way I think there was like three or four of these petal beads in the, the subscription box so you have several colors that you can use okay I'm gonna pick up one I made sure that I picked it up so that it was facing up because I'm now back at the top of my flower and I'm going through the next petal bead pulling this through and it's going to want to twist on you so you have to flip it and pull it tight and there we go I'm going to do another one again make sure it's facing up through the next petal like that I'll do it again and um you may notice that my monofilament is all curled up that's because I forgot to run it between my fingers and straighten it out that's something I always do and I usually tell you guys that and I forgot I, I'm forgetful today but yeah if you run monofilament between your fingers it will straighten it out it's like a hair straightener it heats it up straightens it so it's easier to work with okay there are my beads I'm gonna check my other string and see if they are the same length now and they are I lucked out so that means that I will be exiting out of this bead so I'm going to pick up a bead on this side now I have to go in this direction I was really happy when I got these petal beads in the box especially this red all right flip over flip over get in there What do you guys think about these flowers? Do they remind you of Super Mario? I don't know why. Are there flowers in Super Mario? I know there's those mushroom things. It's been a long time since I played that game. I'm gonna go, I got my last petal on and I'm gonna go through this one. 
and you may have to loosen your last bead up or pull it out so you can get your string to go through. Okay, I got mine. And every petal that I put on, it wants to flip and twist, so... Okay, now pull both strings tight and make sure they are on the bottom. Right now it looks kind of crazy. That's because we are not done. Now I have to pass my string, this one's on this side, through this green disc. Which I just now remembered that in order for me to do that, I have to loosen these beads up. And I told you to pull them tight. Alright, so lift that up out of the way. Go through the green disc. It'll tighten up again once we go through. Because working with monofilament, it's slippery. And it's forgiving like that. I should have got my tweezers out. Got one side. Okay, I'm gonna do this side and I gotta make sure that I don't get twisted in the string so I have to go around. If it gets twisted it'll warp the ring and it won't lay right. Okay, now I'm going to pull both sides. Okay, pull both sides. Our strings are the same length, that is great. And now I have to go through some seed beads, but I have to do it in a certain way because when you look at the ring, because we have five petals, or not five, because we have 10 petals, the flower is shaped like a star kind of, so there is a point at the top. So if you want your ring to look like this when you put it on and not it, you don't want it to be crooked, um, you have to make sure that you go through the C beads in a certain way on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take my string, doesn't matter which, and I'm going to go through, see how I have four right here? I'm going to go through three of the four C beads. So I'm on the right side. And I might need to get tweezers out or a bead all. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to pass through three of these beads. Okay. Like that. Pull that through. Actually, should I do that? No. I'll keep going this route. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my other string. I gotta move this one out of my way. And I'm gonna go through all four of these. Okay. Making sure my string's not getting twisted on me. I went through all four. Bring the string down. Looks good. Pull it tight. Now I'm going to go through one seed bead and I'll explain to you why. Alright, so the bottom of the ring is going to be strange and it's because we have five. Uh, petals in the middle. That's why. Okay, actually it has nothing to do with having ten. It's because we have a center of five. So right now I have three seed beads on this side that I'm coming through and one on this side. So you should have 
six seed beads, one, two, three, four, five, six, that you're not going through on this side. And counting over here, you're going to skip over six as well. So you're going to skip over this one, and then these four, and then that one right there, that's six. And then you'll have four seed beads over here. So we're going to make our ring band. See that? We make our ring band, go all the way around, and we connect into these four over here. And then we come back into here and we tie our knots. So that's why I did it like that. So now, all right, to make the ring band, we're actually going to be working with one string at a time, and then we work with both of them together, and then we go back to doing one string at a time. So I'm going to pick up five seed beads. I'm going to pick up two brown and three green, like that, slide them down. You want to take the second brown one that you pick up and pass your string through that bead. Okay? Like this, so that it looks like a little leaf there. And just slide this down, like that. Okay? Do the same thing on this side. Pick up two brown and three green slide them down bring down the first brown one and pass through the second okay slide it down pick up two brown and crisscross Like that. Bring it on down. Take one of the strings, doesn't matter which, do the same to both. And you're going to pass through a green seed bead. Like that. The one that's the closest to the center. See? Okay. Now you have to do the same thing on the right side. So, like that. Okay, and then again, do the same thing. Pick up five seed beads. You're gonna do two brown, three green. I, I really wanna do this ring band with different colors because it looks like a, a ladder vine, but with different colors, it'll look like something totally different. So yeah, I wanna see what it looks like with different colors, okay? I'm going through that brown bead again, the second one that I put on. So I have this, and I'm sliding that leaf down. And then I'm going to my other string, and I'm picking up, I did go through the brown one, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Pick up two brown again, three green, one, two, three green. I have a cat hair in my beads. Sliding them down, going through the second brown one, like this. Bring it down, okay. And then I'm going to pick up two brown seed beads and crisscross through them, like that. Bring it down. Take my left string and go through this green bead. And then I'm going to go through the next side. Like this. Okay, again, pick up two brown. I wish I straightened my string out because it's being annoying. Pick up three green, three, not four. Slide them down, slide the first brown one down, and then pass through the second one.
like that, bring the bead down, go to the other side, pick up two brown, one, two, and three green. Slide those down, skip the first brown, and go through the second green. See this right here? My string is wrapped around the other one, so if I pull it down, it's actually trying to tie a knot, so I have to unravel it. So it only goes like that and slide it down. You always have to make sure when that happens because it could cause a lot of warping. We don't want that to happen. Okay, so right now I have a leaf done on each side. I have this. So I have to pick up two brown seed beads and crisscross through them. Okay. Passing through two, crisscross and bring them down. And then take my left side and go through my green bead. Go through bead, go through. Like that. And then take the right side and go through right here. Like this. What it looks like so far. Pull it tight and I'm gonna do this one more time with you guys. Okay, I'll show you again close up. So you have to pick up five seed beads. You have to do two for the stem and then three for the leaf. Slide them down. Slide down the first brown one and then you want to pass your string through the second Okay, and then slide your leaf down like this. That's what you should have. And then do the same thing to the other side. So I'm turning mine around. Picking up two brown, three green. Sliding down. Going through the second brown bead. like that. Bring this down and then I'm going to pick up two brown seed beads and crisscross through these. Okay, like this. And then I have to pass a string through the green bead. One on each side. Pull it tight and you should have this. So keep going and doing this weave until you have it long enough, you know, where you try it on like this and you wrap it around and you want it to meet over here on this side. And Okay, I finished weaving my ring band and now I'm down here and I crisscross with the brown seed beads and I have one string coming out of this green, one out of that green. Now what I have to do is pick up one seed bead and I'm going to skip over six seed beads in the base so when I say six I'm not counting the beads that are already connected to this side of the ring band I'm counting this one bead right there so that's one two three four five six I'm gonna go through these three and then that one there okay and let's see I might need tweezers to do this let's see Okay, so through those three, and then through this one here. So I have to leave six seed beads on each side so that my flower is pointing in the correct direction when I go to wear it. So when you're doing an odd number of petal beads like this, 
the ring, but when you attach the ring band, it seems weird. When you're doing an even number, you just go through, you know, with like uh, four on each side, and you don't have to worry about doing it like this. But uh, yeah, because we have an odd number of petals, five, that's why it's like this. Okay, picking up one seed bead. I'm going to pass through this bead here, the one that my string's at exiting out of. So I have three there, this one. So I have to go through this one seed bead. Where is my tail going? Let's try that again. Oh, I'll pull my tail in this direction maybe. And then push that bead out. Oh, it still didn't do it. Let's see. It's going through, but it's just... It's going on the inside. Oh, I have to get my tweezers. That's what I'll do. Or pliers. I use either or. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go through these three here. And I need to be Xing out that same spot. But my other one went in, so my other tail's coming out, out there. I want to be going through in the same spot. And it did it. Yep, now it's just trying to go through another bead. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to pull both tails. Make sure it's not twisted. It's not. It looks great. Okay, so when you look at this side, you should have six seed beads. There's four and then one and one there because it's split up because of the discs. And then over here, you should have three there and three there. Okay, so when you wear your ring, it's going to look, well, I got upside down. It's going to look like this. Okay, now we have to tie knots. And I'm going to show you how to do it. One, and then I'll tell you how to do the rest because this video is getting lengthy. So, right here I am. I'm going to take, now each side is going to be different because we have that gap right here in between where our disc bead hole is at. So on this side I'm going to pass through actually I don't have to. Let me see. Yeah. Right here I could tie a knot. Okay. So I'm going to take and bend my ring band like this. I'm going to pass my string underneath here, come out through the center. I'm going to grab my other tail, pull that tight, pull this tail here tight. Okay, make a loop, pass through the loop two times, bring this knot down, and I'm going to pull this knot straight down. And then I'm going to go in this direction just so I can go through the next seed bead. Okay. Okay, so through that seed bead. And then there's a gap here, and I can't tie a knot here. So in order to tie a knot, I have to go through at least one more seed bead. So going through one seed bead like that, I pull the knot or the string down and I tie another knot here and then I pass through two beads and I tie another knot. Okay, and then I have to go through this bead and through that bead because there's a gap there and then I tie another knot and I weave through these three and then I go up the green petal and then I go into one of the red petals and I trim my string off. Now this side, you want to tie a knot right here, okay, and then go through, let's see, this side's different. So tie a knot, go through two beads, tie a knot, go through two beads, tie a knot there, go through two beads. Yeah, something like that. And then you're just going to weave back up through the top. So I tie, what is it, like... One, two, three, four knots maybe on each side. I don't know. It, it varies because of that gap, that disc there. So I, 
It might be a different count on each side. Let me see this one. That one has four. That one has four. Oh, it's the same on each side. Okay. Yeah, so I'll show you the finished one. See how I did the knots on this one? That's that side and that side. And then you pull the strings up through the green discs and then you go through a petal and you trim your bead off. Or you trim your string off. And that's it. So I have to finish tying knots in mine. But this is it. This is the ring. It's so cute. And uh, my petals are a little warped because I was just smushing the ring all around. But yeah, I love them. They're really pretty. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.